Is your snake refusing food? Well, in this video, we're going to teach you how to troubleshoot your situation and also give you some tips on how to get your snake to eat. Now, there are many, many reasons why a snake might not eat. But first, we have to assess how they're being kept. Are there things in your snake's environment that might be stressing it? Do you have a cat or dog that's stressing it out? Is the tank near a TV or stereo where the sound vibrations are stressing your animal? Is it a high traffic area with lots of people walking past? Does it have enough heights? Are you handling it too much? These are all things that we need to consider. If your snake feels insecure or unsafe, they won't eat to begin with. Next, let's look at temperatures. Are your temperatures suitable for the type of snake that you're keeping? Lots of different types of snakes will stop eating below a certain temperature. For example, for bull snakes, corn snakes, and king snakes, I would recommend air temperatures of 23 to 25 degrees Celsius. Now that's 73.4 to 77 Fahrenheit for you Americans. And then a surface temperature for that warm belly spot and that basking spot of 27 to 30 Celsius or 80 to 86 Fahrenheit for kings and for corns. Now for bull pythons, I'd recommend 30 degrees to 32 degrees, 86 to 89 Fahrenheit again for you Americans. Make sure you know what your nighttime temperatures are actually dropping to. You might find that daytime temperatures are okay when you're checking it and are awake, but actually night times are actually dropping quite cool and you miss it because you're asleep the entire time. Consecutive cold nights, regardless of warm days, can contribute to a snake not eating. For example, with bull pythons, I wouldn't recommend letting the air temperatures at night go below 20 degrees or 68 Fahrenheit. Next, I would make sure to cram lots of hides in there and lots of tight cluttered tight spaces that are dark and secure to make your animal feel safe. Also consider the time of year. In the northern hemisphere in the winter bull pythons can go on a hunger strike. They can sense the weather outside like barometric pressure changes and these are things that are outside your control. Or is it springtime when female kings and corns are actually ovulating and releasing pheromones that are sending the boys wild? Is your male king snake or corn snake actually just really horny and is not thinking about eating at the moment? The point being time of year can be a massive factor. Now let's look at how we actually offer the food to our snakes. The temperature of the actual food itself can play a massive role in how the snake perceives it. Bull pythons have heat seeking pits and that means they see in infrared so sometimes a prey item needs to be hot enough for them to pull the trigger at times. Here's a tip before you offer it to your bull python dip the head of your rodents into some hot water and then do that just before you offer it to your bull python. That can really make a difference sometimes. For colubrids like king snakes and corn snakes, this might not be as important, but it can't hurt to make sure that the prey you offer is, is warm. Now, bull pythons might want you to wiggle the food a little bit to get them to strike and wrap. Just don't shove it in their face and get make them like recoil from you doing that to them. Instead, let them think and assess and let them come towards the prey item. I also find it best to offer the prey an equal height to the head of the snake or just below. Sometimes, Bull pythons can get into an ambush position and like to wait for things to come beneath. That can greatly improve your chances, but I wouldn't offer it above their heads because sometimes that also can make them recoil. You can also try to drop feed. So you can leave the prey item in the enclosure overnight or even under a hide in the enclosure overnight and check back the next day. Sometimes that peace and quiet and time to himself in the dark overnight might be the thing that allows them to eat. Offering the food at a time of day that your species is likely to hunt can greatly improve your chances. So if your species is nocturnal, like a bull python, try feeding at night. That might change it for you. Try and change the type of prey you're offering. If you've offered nothing but rats over and over and over again and it's not eating, try something like a chick. That change in prey might be just a thing that needs that bull python to click. When I worked in a pet store, there was this bull python that was wasting away and not eating and it looked like a Toblerone at the top of its spine. And they had tried nothing other than rats. They were trying rats over and over again. So I tried a chick and I dropped it in and I walked away and that snake ate straight away. We actually adopted that snake and he's put our loads away. He's doing really well. It just needed someone to think and try something different. Now here are some tricks to get baby snakes to eat. Now some of these might actually work for your adults as well. You can take the pinky mouse and boil it. Sometimes that is a great trick to get them to take it. You can also wash your pinky mouse with a bit of Dawn dish soap or other unscented dish soaps. That can wash away the scent for a species that might actually want it to, sm to smell more like a reptile. It can get them to try and eat it. To add to that, you can also rub the pinky mouse on a lizard 
to make it smell like a reptile to increase your chances. You can also soak your pinky mouse in tuna juice or chicken blood. Sometimes a really pungent smell can make the animal eat. I tend to opt for tuna juice because it's a little bit less gross, but if it works, it works. Now, you can brain the pinky by stabbing it in the brain with a pin and allowing the juices to leak out. That is a very strong smell and can send a baby snake crazy. And that is also something that works really well on adult snakes. It's very, very gross, but can be the thing that makes your snake eat. You can also try and put your snake in a small tub with the prey item, and that can actually make them eat. Go away, come back at a time period later, maybe even overnight, and you might just find that they've eaten it. Start mixing and matching these techniques until finding a way that works. I can't tell you the amount of times I've boiled, then brained, then put it in the tub with the king snake to try and get a baby to eat. I don't know which of those things that made it in that sequence to work, but throwing that combination together got a snake that was otherwise going to starve to death to eat. Now saying that, snakes can go a long time without eating. I had a baby Mexican black king snake go six months without eating before it finally died. And that is an animal that had never had a meal in its life and was fragile. Overall, snakes can go long periods without eating and for bull pythons, they can do it regularly. As long as a snake doesn't lose more than 10% of its total body weight, I wouldn't be too concerned. Just weigh it weekly, make sure it's not dr drastically losing weight. If it's not, you're probably okay. Also, please, please, please research your specific species for yourself because I'm talking in very, very, very broad terms here to try and help people that are searching broad terms. If you like this type of content, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.